Okay, cat seems to be grooving. I hope I hope she doesn't jump out. If she does, I'm just gonna quit the camera because I'm not readjusting it to wherever she goes. Because for all I know, she's gonna run around the house. But yeah, let's get to Fury. So they say. Ah. Hold on a sec. Let's actually. Uh, Fury's really loud, so I'm gonna turn the game volume down a bit some more. Okay. Continue. Yes. All right, the cat moved in a way that's not the greatest, but I don't know, she's fine. She's fine. Cool. Cool. She's good. Um, ooh, there's a practice mode. And then this is the DLC, I think. Or like the, yeah, yeah, the DLC. Okay. So yeah, I got about another 35 minutes left. Hopefully the cat complies. She's just, man, she's grooming herself a lot today. Look at her paws now. So Fury's like a, a weird hybrid game that, wow, I kind of forgot how to play from the feel of it, because, um, yeah, I, uh, I streamed this last time I streamed, and it was, um, at first I really didn't like it, and then as I, uh, give it more time, I grew to really like it. I think it's just the first tutorial boss is honestly kind of a, he's a bad character design, he's kind of boring, um, as far as what he has to say, and then, I don't know, it, it, I also had false expectations going in. I thought this would be more of an action game. It's definitely not an action game. It's like a hybrid, uh, it's, it's a hybrid game, that's for sure. And then this boss is more, uh, this boss is very atypical compared to the last one I did. This boss is like very, uh, synth based, I guess. I don't know. He's, he, this, this one's more bullet based than most, but then, uh, as soon as you get him to like stage two, he starts doing this thing where uh, all bullets uh, are just frozen in time. So it's almost like the first, his first stage is all bullets and the second stage is all uh, not bullets. And he alternates back and forth and back and forth. Ow, oh, God, hit me from the back. Oh, I need that, I need that, I need the health. I need that health, there we go. I don't know if it's faster to charge shot. Oh god, got hit. I don't know if it's faster to charge shot at this point or uh, just regular shot, but let's see. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. I can't, I can't tell what's more effective. It looks like regular shots might be more effective, honestly, unless they hit the. Okay, well now I'm hitting his own bullets a lot, so... Oh, god damn it! There's health that way. Got it. Yeah, okay, it seems like the... Charge shot is better to get through his bullets, but then uh, the normal shot is better to just actually deal damage. Okay, so now bullets are frozen, I think. Is that right? No, nope, not yet. There's another stage where the bullets start freezing. Oh god. Okay, right. And this shit happens. And those bullets there, I can't shoot through those. Those are invulnerable. Ow. I'm getting... Yeah, it's not looking good for me. Essie's head. I agree with him. I'm just going into everything instead of dodging it appropriately. Okay, now bullets... Uh, nope. I don't know what's happening now, actually. There, there's a point in the fight where the bullets freeze, and it was pretty, like, flashy. Oh god. What, what is Perry? What is Perry? Oh god damn it. <laughs> I think Perry is triangle. Is it? No, what is Perry? Circle. Circle's Perry. Okay, circle is to Perry. I should know that in the future, because it is vital.
My god. I'm just getting... Getting my health whittled down right at the start. Not good. Okay, here he goes. Now I gotta parry him. Parry his triangle? No, circle, circle. Already, already figured this out. It's circle. There we go. Now the bullets are frozen. If you didn't watch my last stream, this must be very confusing, because the me mechanics in this game are unorthodox for uh, your standard sort of fighting game, I guess. <sighs> didn't, didn't dodge that last one. Oh, I didn't parry a single one of those. Mmm! Okay. This actually doesn't look so good. Let's restart. I lost twice and he... Let's just redo the battle. I already lost two pips, so I don't think I was gonna win. Oh my god. This game is nothing but boss battles and they take forever. Uh, so sometimes it's just easier to restart if you got a really, you know, rocky start. Oh god. That was really lucky. I got- I got- I was slightly invulnerable because the bullet hit me and it prevented me from getting hit by the- that layer of, um, that thing. I'm gonna just go ahead and, uh, charge attack. Because that way I don't have to worry about the bullets hitting me. Actually, can I attack this shield? I don't think so. I think I have to, um... I think I have to gun it. At least the music is good. This the start of this boss fight's a little boring, sorry. Um, but the music's good at least. Okay, this is definitely working out actually better than charge shots. I shouldn't use charge shots at all. Unless I wanna, like I said, break the big bullets. Oh god. Whew. I love how the bullet, like, the bullet sound amplifies the music. It's kind of like, they're kind of synced. Oh god. Is the cat still in the thing? Yeah, she's sleeping. That's cool. Glad she didn't decide to leave. Okay, some health right now would be nice. Because I actually lost a health pip. So close here. Oh god. Alright, that's fine. We're we're in uh phase two now. And triangle is parry, right? No, circle is parry. And you can you can uh you can charge your dodge in this game, which is pretty cool. Those health. 
<laughs> Give me the help. I need to parry those attacks. There we go. Oh god damn it. That was bad. I'm really bad at the parry timing if you can't tell. I'm just gonna dodge this. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, God. After basically, if you lose a pip, you're forced to redo the entire section of the boss fight uh, from this like. See, uh, the, below the health bar, there's pips, right? The, he has four, I have three. Um, if he loses one, he goes to his next section of the boss fight. If I lose one, I have to redo the boss fight from, from whatever, like, pip I last took off him. So, it's like... It's a little frustrating, to say the least, because you basically have to, have to repeat sections. It's kind of like your lives. It's like a checkpoint system. Which, I'm sure in the hard mode, they probably take that away. So, I should be happy for it, but... <laughs> You'll probably see me redo a lot of sections, because uh, the last time I fought a boss uh, that wasn't the tutorial boss, I think it took me like 20 tries to beat it. And I'm already at uh, not very much health right now, so fuck. Okay, you need to really get HP right now, so... My goal right now is not even to fight him, it's just to find HP. There we go. Oh god. There's an HP over there too. Let's get that one over there. Ow. Ow, oh, god damn it! I took like four hits of- or I took like four bits of damage. That was terrible. God damn, I'm so bad at parrying in this game. It's because all the bosses uh, attack you with different, um, you know, like timings, obviously. But it's just so tricky uh, sometimes knowing when they're going to drop their sword down. Sometimes they just have this long wind-up. Like that. You saw that? Like, he put his sword back, and then he didn't actually swing until a while later, so... Oh, my, uh, you know what? Trying this again from the start. This is not working. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to beat this boss today. Because <laughs> uh, I only have like 25 more minutes to play. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat the boss in 25 minutes. I'm not that good. That, that freaking yellow pile of sludge, whatever that is. Uh, electronic synth wave is just it gets me all, like way too often the, the interesting thing about this game is a lot of games when you press dodge you dodge like pretty much instantly this game has like a small dodged startup time which is kind of built that way because you can charge your dodge and of course if you charge you have even a longer startup time but even just your basic dodge has a, a few frames like to activate so um so it just forces you to dodge in advance, which is, uh, like, in games like Bayonetta, you're kind of trained to dodge last second, for example. Um, here you gotta dodge in advance or else you're gonna get hit. The dodge is really good, though. Just unfortunately, as I said, it takes a while to activate. Okay, I want that green. There we go. Almost back at full health. Ow! God. Again, I, I let go of dodge there, actually. I was charging it up a tiny bit, and I let go, and I thought I'd have time. I didn't have time. But yeah, at least the music is awesome, so even if this... Uh, this section's, like I said, a little bit repetitive, but the music is great. Ow, God damn it! Give me that green health. I need it. 
really bad. Oh my god, I need that health before it touches the wall. Okay, got it. Alright, we're almost about to enter phase two here. Almost. I'm sending out a lot of big orbs, making this awkward. Come on now. And at least your health recovers between every time you take off a, one of his pips, your health does recover to full, so there's that. Again, I feel like this is one of those things where as soon as you get to hard mode, maybe you don't get that benefit. This is regular mode. Okay, come at me. Ah! Not quite, not quite how I wanted that dodge to go. There we go. Cool. This is this is actually going pretty well. Cool. That I took almost no hits, or maybe not. I, maybe I took no hits at all. That's awesome. Let's just focus on parrying him then, because I'm at full health for once. Where is he? There he is. There we go. Got him parried. Let's actually get the health over here. God, I really need, really need practice at pairing. I'm so, so bad at it. Let's actually get health while we can. Nice. And then there you go. So there's like two phases of the fight. There's the, there's the close up phase and the far away phase. When you reduce his health, his second health bar is this close, this close, uh, close, ah, I should start talking. I'm just, I'm dying. You'll get, uh, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Basically when you, when you get his health all the way down, you start this, he gets a second bar, and this second bar is handled in this like close-up range like this. And then as soon as I get his bar down, now he goes to the far, yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, I can't talk and play this game, it is really hard. I'm not actually sure how good it is for streaming, because it needs more concentration than I have. And then on top of that, if I try to talk as well, that's, well, that's just an extra layer of concentration, isn't it? Oh well. And I missed it. Uh, this health. All right, here we go. Oh god. Oh my god. There's so much so many bullets. There we go. Ow. God damn it. All my parries were just bad parries that time. That was awful. Ow. God damn it. You can't, you can't fire bullets in this mode. It's like, really, look at this. Look at that. It's so awkward. Why am I so bad at parrying? Oh god! That's bad. Here we go. This isn't looking too good. He's a two pips and almost dead, but uh, my own bullets hurt me in this. Look at this. That is uh, bullshit. <laughs> Your own bullets hurt you. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my god, this is going so poorly. There he goes. All right. Well. 
I lost one of my lives. He's a down to two out of four. Let's give this another shot. Bad. Lost three bits of health there. Okay, this one should have health. Yep. Cool. I'm back actually at full health, I think. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Awesome. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Gotta parry him once to trigger this mode. Now I, now I shouldn't shoot my guns, or because it's just... Shooting your guns is just death in this mode. Oh god! I missed him. God! Didn't parry again. He's just destroying me. Oh my god. He's being really frustrating. I'm just gonna go pick up the health over here. There we go. Can't get that fourth hit off. Unless you perfect parry, I think. Hmm. Okay. When you parry, you actually get a tiny bit of life back, which is pretty cool. Oh wow, didn't parry a single one of those, lost three pips. Got him. I have actually never been to this part of the boss fight yet, so this is all new to me. Oh, this is just, this is just straight out, don't get hit. Can I even do? I can't even do damage to him right now. Okay, that's that's a fra that's a straight up. Don't get hit. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. Ooh, this is weird. It'd really be nice to get some health pips right now. Okay, that one's down. That one's down too, and it just created more bullets to dodge. Fantastic. Let's just shoot from over here. Uh, this seems like a pretty good spot. Although I realize I'm actually not hitting the, the, the towers because the bullets are in my way. So crap. God, okay. Oh my god. I haven't gotten hit in a while, which I'm honest. Oh, there, there we go. I got hit. The bounce back off the wall. I really wish you had something like the equivalent of a blank and enter the gungeon where you can just clear the screen, but I don't think you have that in this game. You just have dodging. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Gotta parry him. There we go. Whew. Is is it it? I think did I beat him? Yo, I think I actually I think I actually beat him somehow. Holy shit.
I didn't actually expect to be able to defeat him today. Very vague. Probably doesn't mean much. And we have a st we have a stupid rabbit guiding us through this game. I'm honestly the rabbit is my least favorite character. He he he, he tells you lore about the the characters you fight, so that's cool. But him, I don't really like. Okay, loading screen, didn't expect that. I guess we're going to the next zone. We might have enough time to see the the um, the next boss, but then I'm gonna have to like quit right away, basically. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push the stream much past 3:30. 3:30 is gonna be it. Also, I am uh, I am dying from my na uh, nasal congestion. I need to go like use some like Musinex or something or that 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 stuff you spray up your nose that. <laughs> You accidentally get down your throat and it tastes horrible and you just feel a bit terrible. I gotta go use that stuff. I have two bottles of it, I think, in the kitchen or in the bathroom cabinet. Take a good look, my friend. Okay. Years of evolution, culture, civilization, great intellect, wonders of nature. Bam! Wiped out in one single impact. Okay. One. Are we talking about a meteor or something else? <laughs> Ooh, this grass looks really nice. I also like the water. It's like a uh, cell shaded water, kind of. Um, it looks really nice. This is a lush level. For, for an area that was supposed to have gotten wiped out, it did a great job of growing back. And like I said, while I don't like the rabbit himself, I don't like his design, uh, nor really how he behaves around me, I do appreciate all the lore he gives on the bosses I fight. Very No More Heroes-esque. You have the slow walk towards your boss as somebody feeds you information. But, uh, I don't know. Not a fan of the rabbit. Okay. So I came from space for some reason, then got imprisoned, then broke out. That's the story so far. Apparently, I came from space, got imprisoned, then broke out with the help of the rabbit, kinda. I've heard some bad stuff, and what I've seen, well. But we have one thing. I love actually how he he said nothing. He was just like, mm. that was a good touch. Uh, we're, we're getting away from the awesome swamp area. He got contaminated. I'm not sure he's got much to say. He probably can't even Oh no, more 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 trees. Good. More grass. I, I hope there's grass here at the boss fight. Like that grass looks cool. I would love to fight amongst it. Oh, I hope this is our battleground right here. I hope the water and the grass is part of the battleground. Because this looks gorgeous. They, they mixed, like, eerie green technology with, like, slightly more soothing, but still kind of unsettling green nature here really well. Oh, yeah, this is the level. All right. This is pretty. I usually am not a fan of, like, I call it puke green. It's, like, radioactive green, you know? Usually not quite a fan of that shade. I like lime green more. But uh, this this is doing it for me. The color scheme of the blue plus this green plus the purple that does so uh, that that together works so well. Look at me. Don't look so horrified. This is like a mix of uh, Bioshock Big Daddies and Jet Set Radio right here. He looks like he, he looks like if, if if a Bioshock Big Daddy got dropped into 
uh, Jet Set Radio, <laughs> and uh, got a lot thinner, I guess. Okay, what is what is your what are your attacks like? You're more of a traditional boss fight. The last boss fight was not traditional. Oh, his trails leave uh, his trails still hurt. Interesting. Yo, I really like this level. Okay, I'm doing big damage just shooting him straight up, so I'm gonna do that. What's happening? Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know how much damage I could do attacking him directly, but... Let's try it, actually. Hold on. Let's try it now. Wow, actually got him. Well, I'll be damned. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, this is interesting. <sighs> the parry system in this game is really weird. Once you know exactly how you can parry a certain boss, it makes a lot of sense, but until you know, it's just very awkward. <sighs> you got me. Oof. This is the first boss that actually hurt me this bad in a cutscene. Damn. I can knock him down, so actually charging shots up seems to be really good. Yep. That seems like the way to go for this boss. For the phase one of this boss, I should say. Which, phase one is usually a joke relative to how the rest of the boss behaves, so this is interesting, because... Already, this phase one isn't that much of a joke. Alright, let's wait for this to end, and fuck! Here we go. That is a meaty metallic clank there. I should've parried. And down he goes. One more hit. Or a few small hits. Nice, okay. All right. If you you can you can do a mode, or you you have this option in that close range mode, where you charge basically, and it just powers up your attacks for several seconds, and it's ridiculously good. Which is what I was using, which is why he went down so fast. It's because I charged to full and then got a full combo off him. Ow. Oh, he doesn't- he doesn't want to play parry. He doesn't want to play the parry game with me. Oh my god. Ah, I failed the last parry. Okay, that- that- that was actually really easy. But, I mean, of course it's not over. Ow. Okay, charged up. And I didn't parry. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he has, uh, six pips. He has six pips. He has basically six stages to his boss fight. We're on stage five out of six. Or, sorry, rather, two out of six. Oh yeah, this is a this is a chance for big damage if you can avoid getting hit. Oh yeah, he took a lot. Yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and then charge up for the next one. See how much more damage that did? Because I was fully charged that time. Fuck. Okay. What next? Harpoons? He's got harpoons. What does that mean for me? Got him. Can counterattack though. Here we go. Ow. Ow. I don't know why I didn't dodge that. Oh my god, and I dodged right into that one. Oof, I'm playing bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, this is awkward. Fuck. That was very awkward. I didn't lose a pip, though. That was interesting. I don't know why I didn't, but I did not. Ow. God damn it. Oh, I hit him. He hit me. It's fair. Oh my god, that fucking shockwave. Oh, what's happening here? <sighs> okay. I, I don't know, like, I have so little to say when I play this game, because I need so much concentration. I feel like if I, um, when I go back and play this game on hard mode, It'll be easier because I'll, I'll know the patterns already, so it won't be like caught by surprise as much. Uh, I'll be able to talk a lot more about like various stuff, but right now when I'm just learning how the boss works, ow, it's really hard to talk and play at the same time. Uh, didn't parry it. Fuck. Parried that one. Cool. Here we go. Phase two. Oh my god, that made my charge obsolete. Fuck! Oh my god, he got me. Oh! Fuck. Do something. What are you doing? Oh my god, I didn't know he could do shock field inside that. Well then. Alright, we're gonna... We, I got one more pip. I'm gonna try to last as long as I possibly can. And then, um... Call it a day. Oh god, I swear I dodged that. Okay, nice. That was a full four hit combo. Is he coming at me? Oh, he's doing that thing. Ah, fuck. Where is he gonna come from? Damn it! All right, he's down. Here we go. This this phase. Oh my God, he got me. Pre-mash, pre-mash. Mashing in this game is always so easy because they give you so much time. Oh, right, that thing. That's what killed me last time. Great, almost killed me again. Come on. Oh, this one's hard. Wow. 
That was not bad. Ah, fuck. There it is. It's over. Is it? Is it over? Yes, it's over. Okay. This All right. Well, that was Fury. Um, just some. Just some fury tacked on at the end there. Um, time for me to stop streaming, though. Um, the cat actually s decided to just take a nap, and I probably could have had a better camera angle, but I know for a fact if I tried to, she would have just repositioned herself to avoid her face being on camera, as if she's, like, camera shy or something. <sighs> Alright. Well, yeah, fury's fun. Like I said, uh, most likely it's going to be easier to talk while playing it if I ever come back to it. After all, already I'm kind of familiar with the bosses, and I'm definitely going to do that. And it's one of those games where I'm definitely going to play it off stream. Because on one hand, I won't get to have like my original reactions to seeing the bosses, but on the other hand, I don't know. On the other hand, I feel like it might actually be a better playthrough if I'm front loaded with the knowledge of what the bosses are already about and whatnot. Um, I mean, basically, next time I play Fury, I might have played it off stream for all I know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I do want to get better at it, though. It's a, actually a really fun game, uh, and the music design in it is just superb. Like, excellent music design, for sure. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. This has been my uh, Sneezy 6 stream with uh, Pet Cam at the second half. Um, stream on Friday for sure as normal. Uh, I might stream Thursday, maybe, or Wednesday if I really am just feeling like I can't work. But I'm going to be trying to put in work on those Adventure Time vids. I really want to.